Well, we're headed out on a little excursion today Mountain out of the plane. bus and into Springerville, which is, oh, look right there. 23 miles away from Alpine. We just have a little shopping to do and we just kind of want to see Springerville too. That so, and we need to get some gas. Yeah, we desperately need to get some gas. Like we're hoping we make it there without a breakdown. I'm looking at the gas gauge and it's like on, on e, e completely. And so we had to go back up to the bus, get some of the gas we use, uh, save for our generator, put it in here so we have enough gas to get us to right <laughs> thank god for the generator fuel it saved us this yeah, day totally and hopefully we make it to springerville it's mostly downhill i think we're going to get there Definitely gonna fill up the life-saving gas cans. Yeah, <laughs> keeping those on hand at all times. The ridiculous thing is how pretty it is, even just driving around here. Like, everything is just lovely and picturesque. Ooh, looks like we're gonna drive into some weather. Why is this happening on a day I wore a strapless sundress? Done when we were at our campsite. Now it's hailing. Oh good, it looks like we're driving out of the rain now. This is much better. We now have gas, gas, and gas. All right. We filled up the tank and both the gas cans? Both the gas cans. Good call. I think so. So here's the junk in Java, which is tray cute. Oh, we're parking here. Yes, we are. Oh, this is where we're going to do our online work right that's right coffee and shopping that's it. Mm. what could be better catching the camera as it falls <laughs> that was a great catch man <laughs> it was a great i didn't catch. even have time to like gasp <laughs> <laughs> all right you ready Oh, look how cute this place is. Super cute. Right? Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that guy. That's what we're going to see where we're parked. Look at this great mirror. Oh my gosh. I completely love antiques and all things weird and wonderful. So this place is right up my alley. It is absolutely an antique gallery. I love the way they set up antique stores where they make all these little nooks and crannies that you have to come inside. Ooh, jewelry. Fun stuff, right?
you doing, Holly? Uh, this is what it looks like for mailing out stickers ah, from wherever right. we are on the road. <laughs> so this one is for Michelle. I think Lazar, Michelle, this one's for you. Coming to you from Springerville, Arizona, way up in the mountains. And if you guys want to get a sticker, go to our Etsy page and order a sticker. Yeah, that, what he said. Okay, apparently around these parts, people come to the Western Drug and General Store right. for hunting, fishing, camping, headquarters, plus fabric, crafts, snacks, ice, and liquor. I got my awesome bush crafting, bush bush crafting tarp. Nice. Uh, got some Mepsiglia double zero. No, they didn't have oh, double zero. They didn't have what you wanted. They, didn't, they had zeros, but not double zero. Oh. Double zero is like smaller. The ultimate baby one. Gotcha. Now I go in here to my secret stash tackle box. Oh my goodness! In the back of your car seat, really? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Just in gosh. case you have to have emergency fishing, obviously. Who doesn't emergency fish? He's worse than like a girl carrying around makeup, right? He's got all his supplies packed into the back of his car seat. Too jealous. <laughs> I'm amused. Well, there's women fishermen too, fisher girls, and uh, you're just not one of them. It's not that I'm not one of them. I just have a preference for what kind of fishing I like to do, and mountain pond isn't it. I'm not into fly fishing. I'm not gonna just catch a bunch of little ones that I have to throw back and throw back and throw back because it hurts my heart every time I see a hook get ripped out of their mouth. But if we were at a river and I was- She would rip the hooks was, out of catfish all day. If I was fishing for river cat, I would be all over it. Well, I've never fished in the ocean, so <laughs> catfish is you know the biggest fish I've ever caught. So it's my favorite to date, subject to change. Upon, what do you call ocean fishing? Ocean fishing? Upon getting to the ocean. Deep, deep sea fishing, yes. is that right? Deep sea fishing. Well, right. that means you went out on a boat. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, you know, when you see it in the movies, they're always on a boat. Yeah, I think I should try it. I think I should try it before I we'll decide. We'll just have to go to the ocean, I guess. Let's do it. Mexico, here we come. Viva, woo! Oh, I put the stamp on cricket. I hate it when I do that. I was trying to do it with one hand. Right. All right, good luck, little guy. <laughs> Hope I put the sticker in. <laughs> <laughs> right across the street from the junk and Java is this cute little thrift store, Brown Valley Animal Rescue. I'm gonna ask him if we can film inside. I'm a helper. Carrying stuff in. Oh, they're donating. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. So, a nice lady stop by. Fun lady stop. I love these cute little dishes right here in the corner. It would be so cute for Mama Sita. How much is this little guy? Two. Ooh, cute. I'll pay two just to get this for mine. The ours leaks from here. Oh. And I'd pay two dollars just for this thing. It's okay. so frustrating. We'll pay two dollars for that then. Two dollars. I'm looking for ocean blue plates. Hopefully there's something here. I'm always looking for more plates I can break. People cringe when I say that. I actually need a picture frame to showcase our stickers when we go to the gutted event. I kind of like this red one. Even though it's chipped up, I don't know. I like old stuff. I think it has character more than something shiny and new and generic. Cute purple jars and purple dishes. Dang it, I wish those were blue. I'm not finding our colors today, my friends. The blue is being elusive. Ooh, I love this green glass. Probably not safe for bus travel. <laughs> yeah, right now, currently at the rescue, they got 40 dogs 
and 70 plus kittens. So you are looking for some homes for these pets. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's Vintage Bliss, right? Yes. Just down the street from the Junk and Java, which we already went to today. Oh, I'm standing right here holding up a sign. Shamelessly displaying my state of mind. But you walk right past me, pretending like you don't see. This is Mike's treasure that he found at the thrift store. And I have, I have treasures from Junk and Java. Check these out. Oh, I didn't know you got something there. I got this cute oh, right. little cognac t-shirt because I needed something to go with my brown skirt. And look at these funky earrings. Like when I saw them, I thought Aztec, right? Don't they look like Aztec does, yeah, art or something? Sure. I'm going to get on my Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> <laughs> and from the thrift store, I got this little photo box nice. for some of my uh, craft supplies that are like stray and loose in the Carrie has mad craft supplies, you guys. Mad craft supplies. You wouldn't believe how much crafty stuff and she has. I know, and I bought this adorable pink teacup because I have been looking for a pink teacup for at least a year, probably over a year, because I, I had one in like the very second mosaic I ever made and it was so cute and I've never found another one until now and new dishes for mama kitty because we break them on a regular basis Holy we've broken six dishes in nine months in the bus ridiculous you might say why don't you use plastic because they look stupid that's why because mama kitty is very dainty and posh. spoiled rot posh she's a posh kitty she's posh posh <laughs> and then I got some picture frames because I want to hang some pictures on the bus wall. And we needed a frame for our um, for our stickers to be for sale when we go to the gutted event. And I spent a total of twenty four dollars on all of this. Nice. What a bargain, right? Okay, this is my tra other treasure. Oh, I didn't see this one. That's right. Let me see. One hundred percent savage. You are. You could have just got 100% butthole. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's only a butthole like 10% of the time. All right, let's, let's <laughs> breeze back to Alpine. Are we on our way out of here? We are on our way out of here. So long, Springerville. We'll see you again in a couple of days. We have to come through Springerville to get to any of the next places we're going, so. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. I also got a sticker at Vintage Bliss that describes me. Junk Carney, I work the circuit. <laughs> it's who I am, right? Like I have to stop at every thrift store, antique shop, junk shop, whatever. I love to shop at those places. And then we also traded stickers. She's a super cool chick. Trisha, Trisha, right? Um, for Vintage Plus, and this is the uh, sticker of her little vintage travel trailer. Super cute, right? <sighs> okay, you want me to drive so you can read comments to me? Oh yeah. She'll throw up if she drives or tries to read. Oh yeah, I can't do it. I get car sick. Well, you guys, we're back to our office. Well, I guess this is office number one. We have several offices now in several locations. Mm -hmm. This is our office at the lake, at Luna Lake. 
and we're here to upload another video. I think this is the third time in one week that we've had to leave our bus and come into town to get internet. It's so weird not having internet at all times. It's kind of hard to get used to. Even for me, for a person who hardly ever even uses the internet or phone, whatever, blah, yeah, blah, she blah. she made that comment last I'm night. She says, I can't look something up real quick. Yeah, I'm a super low tech person, but I Google search all the time. That's like, that's pretty much all I use my phone for, Google search. I think I'm just rambling at this point. I'm not even saying anything important. <laughs> We're gonna get to work so Mike can go fishing. That's right. What you doing, cute little fella? Looking for a snack? I'll see what we can find. I'm sure we have something in the car that you're going to love. As I'm sure you can imagine, awesome. Mike spends a lot of time with his hook in the water while we're at office comp. What We're at the Luna Lake office complex, yeah. right? <laughs> Hard at work right now. Probably take a break and do some editing. <laughs> I think we need to find a photo of the front of our bus. Do you think we have that in our repertoire? Maybe. And there is the restaurant with no name. Seriously, no name. My grandma always had hollyhocks growing out back by the clothesline. And I love them. Look at all the colors. Oh yeah, the burgundy. Mm -hmm. There's white ones. Oh, there's the white ones. Pale pink, I guess. Look at this pretty red one over here. This one's a little bit different than the others. Oh, is this going to be close enough? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Super. Awesome. Thank you. Um, can I have a water to start with, please? You saved us. <laughs> All right, we're working on a secret project right now. For Patreon. <laughs> top, top secret. secret. Can't just divulge the stuff to you guys like that. You, know? you guys will take advantage of it and try to skirt the system. <laughs> Tough day at the office, huh? <laughs> We didn't realize when we went in there that that place closed at three o'clock. So now we're at our third location of the day, which was actually our first office. Yes. No, second office, the lake for, I can't remember. We have a lot of uh, mobile offices everywhere we go. There's a lot of people in here. I should probably turn this off so I'm not being rude. Remember this? Oh, we have all kinds of people in here today. This place pretty much only plays hair bands. We're getting back to work on our top secret project that we'll have to top secret. tell you about and show you probably in a later episode. But you'll know what it is when you see it. Don't show them. <laughs> they don't know what it's for. And that was another very successful um, mobile office sesh. Hell yeah! Oh, I can take very, successful. very successful. Very successful. loud in the bar. Carrie is mailing one of our stickers right now. And Joanne, when you get your sticker and you wonder why the handwriting is so sloppy, it's because I was writing it on my lap in the car. With a pen she doesn't like. In Alpine, Arizona, which is beautiful. Hi, Mike. I'm a honer. Glad you could make it outside. I know, after a long day editing. Yeah. Nice fire. Thank you. Best camp spot ever. Dude, I, I really, after seeing all the spots out here, 
This really is a great spot. I'm actually feeling a little sad we're going to leave it. Like, I just... The, the temperatures have been so nice in August. <laughs> like, it's such a big deal. Chances are good we're going to head on down the road and find an equally outstanding spot. You just... I don't... It's such a gamble. You just never know. For you guys at home, like, if you guys are seriously considering doing this, in a bus of this size, I would highly, highly, highly recommend bring a vehicle, either tow it or drive it or whatever, bring another vehicle so you can go scouting. That thing, our Jeep has saved our butts. Like, right on day one, we got here, Luna Lake didn't work out, we jumped in the Jeep and we headed out and we went to that spot that we, that we found, and it was on I Overlander. And I will tell you, I Overlander is not a verbose listing of places to park. We came up this road in our Jeep. We found multiple places we could have parked, and then we found this spot. I hope we can beat this, but I don't think we will. This is a good one. This is a really good one. A really, really good one. We're coming to the very cute Alpine Library, yet again, to find free internet. It's really beautiful here. Everything's beautiful here. 66, free Wi-Fi. You won't believe the good fortune we had at the Alpine Thrift Store today. Ta-da! Vintage Trivial Pursuit. What could be better for bus life, right? I even got my Trivial Pursuit playing clothes on, aka pajamas. I'm gonna change it into my beat your ass clothes now. Yeah, good luck with that. Lemon meringue pie, pumpkin pie, chocolate cream pie, blueberry pie, obviously, cherry pie, or what pie is Plus you make bus face pie. <laughs> We're missing one Bussy McBus face piece. That's not bad for a uh, thrift store game. Only one teensy tiny weensy winesy little piece is missing. And the only way that would ever matter is if six people were playing this game. And if that were the case, we would just shove a double mint gum wrapper in that person's pie hole. <laughs> wow. Did you guys have this game when you were a kid? Oh, hell yeah. Right? Everybody had this game now, who didn't back this then. Game? This game came out in 1981. Really? Yeah. We were 10 years old. Man, I feel old now. We got it for Christmas from my Aunt Diane who, living in California, was quite a bit more trendy right. than my mom. But my memories of this game are super fun memories because we would go to my grandma and grandpa's house after they moved to Arizona. Some people in the family would just be all, you know, jovial and lighthearted playing the game and others would be like super serious, trying to win. It's just fun and the laughing and stuff that's associated with it is so much better than winning. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. However... Except tonight. Ferocious goading is absolutely called for in any gameplay. I'm going to destroy you. I can, You're going to die. And then I'm going to gloat all over this place. Whatever. I've You're... never lost Trivial Pursuit in my life. Wow. I swear I've never played with a liar before. It's so <laughs> weird. Oh, this is the Genius Edition. I thought we were playing the Genius Edition. You're in big trouble. 
<laughs> Maybe I am a genius. <laughs> no, you're at the wrong end of the oh. genius pool. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down for that. <laughs> what pie do you want? I'm going to be this one because it's mine. You mean chocolate pie? Chocolate, that's, nothing. Mm, that's a poop pie in your case. What is it? Flat, dark earth. This is tactical pie. That's cow pie. This is tactical <laughs> you pie. You chose the cow pie. You Whatever. chose the cow that's pie. Tactical pie. <laughs> Five. All right. I'll take science. What fastener did Whitcomb Judson patent in 1893? The snap. Yeah, that was very close. But it's actually the zipper. Oh, the zipper! Right? It was a good one! Oh, Whitcomb, you outsmarted me this time, but you won't get me again. All right, big guy, tell me what city was destroyed by Little Boy? Nagasaki. Wrong. Hiroshima. Hiroshima. God damn it. I know, right? You have a 50 50 chance. Fat man, and little like, boy. <laughs> I know. I probably would have got that one wrong too. What's the capital of Montana? Billings. Helena. Dang it! But Billings is the most known city. Helena. Who ever heard of Helena, Montana? I know. Nobody except people who live in Montana. That's who. Well, you're going to bomb this one. I can already tell you that. Who is the clown? in Shakespeare's Henry the Fourth and the Merry Wives of Windsor. Faust. Well, you were really close, but it's not Faust, it's Falstaff. Yeah, I tried. Oh, give me a brown again. I'm gonna win it this time. I'm gonna get a piece of pie before you. What Tennessee Williams play features a girl who collects glass animals? The Glass Menagerie. God. Yes! First one to score a pie. cards over there on top of you. Keep Did you throw that at me? I just threw it on the table and it flew. Oh, I see how you are. <laughs> I think you get to go again, too. After I put my chocolate pie in my pie plate, what is 3.14159 better known as? 3.14159265 is pie. It's Ports on Leisure. Oh, for the pie, for the pumpkin. Speaking of pies. He wants a slice of the pumpkin. What constellation represents a hunter with club and shield? Orion. Oh, I'll take a pie. This is so stupid. What is believed to be created when a star collapses? A black hole. That's what I would have said. <laughs> you made it, finally. <laughs> I made it. With finally. all your kindergarten questions. I kicked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you may have kicked my ass, but you kicked it with easy ass questions. <laughs> Killed you. Destroyed you. You got the kindergarten questions. I knew this was going to happen. And I got the doctorate questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're messing up the easy one, like the Emerald City. I, I mean, all of them were hard to you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never playing this game with you again. <laughs> so, should we take this back to the thrift store? <laughs> they don't accept returns. <laughs> I want to donate something. No, not that. We've been trying to get that off our shelves for 20 years now. Nobody wants it. <laughs> not the genius edition. Um, uh -uh. You're not bringing that back in the store. We've never seen so many divorces from one thing. It's a bad luck game. We should have just thrown it in the trash. Well, thanks for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Did you get so frisky with your tummy rubs in the morning? Uh, oh dad, stop doing it. Keep me. You keep me. She's <laughs> very happy. I'm very about to fall off the couch. <laughs> <laughs>
I just have to tell you, it is really bittersweet to be leaving this place. Even though we've been here almost two weeks by now, and even though the next place we're going to go is probably going to be just as spectacular, you still can't help but think, oh my gosh, when we wake up in the morning, we're not going to be looking out at this view over the meadow anymore. This place has been a really spectacular spot for our first uh, on the road boondocking yeah, spot. Yeah, we were kind of spoiled. Wow. Yeah. But you know what that means? That means tomorrow, the next video, you guys get to see someplace new. And so do we. A whole and new so location. Pretty excited about that. So we hope you guys keep following along with our uh, our uh, schooly graphic tour, national <laughs> schooly graphic tour here. Um, and we appreciate you having, having you along. If you guys didn't watch the last video, we did start a Patreon account, finally after some urging from friends and followers. And uh, for those of you that have signed up, you guys are awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, we have been absolutely shocked to have such a response already. Thank no you words, guys No so words much. for the gratitude that we feel for you guys. Also, jump over to our, our Etsy page because we, uh, we got a bunch of new t-shirts that we put up there. And uh, so if you guys want to help keep us on the road, Patreon or Etsy will really, it really does help us out. Our really stickers does. are on our Etsy Sticky, page as well. Stickers are up there too. So stay tuned next week for a new location. Same bat channel, same bat time. We'll see you guys next week. Take care, you guys. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye.